This warehouse has really been around as long as I can remember. It's in Raymond, Mississippi. I remember passing by it almost every day on the way to school. Um, I didn't know anything about it until this project. I found out that it was owned by a company called Magna America, which is a division of Magna Corporations in Ohio. They moved to Raymond in the late 60s, and they manufactured things like tractors, lawn mowers, garden tillers, and specialized products. Um, the company seized operations in the 80s. Um, it, so the building was left to fend for itself, and it still currently stands lonely, even though a lot of it's falling apart. It's a garbage dump pretty much now. It's really sad. It's covered in litter and graffiti. And the local community college dumps all of their trash there. There's a room in the back that ha is full of computers, old computers just left there to rot. So Ferris Street is a historical district in Jackson. Um, it was a booming street for black-owned businesses during the Jim Crow era. Um, they had their own restaurants, dress shops, stores, um, and doctor's office even. Uh, and they had their own clubs, and it was a really popular place for black entertainers, one of them being B.B. King, uh, to come down and perform at the Alamo. So. After Jim Crow, due to integration, it became less and less popular, and now it's just a shell of what it was before. And there are only a couple of businesses around, but the street in general is like littered with abandoned buildings and trash. And it's located in downtown Jackson, so it has potential to be put to good use. But it's just kind of sad because it isn't being repurposed. Instead, it's just being left to rot. The Markham Hotel has been a building that I've known about for quite some time now. It's always been there the entirety that I've been living on the Gulf Coast. And it always looked a bit run down and I always wondered why. I just assumed it was because of Hurricane Katrina, which it was. A couple years later, I heard uh, new owners decided to purchase it and they never really took care of the building and took care of the damage after Katrina. It wasn't until just a couple years ago that a new investment company decided to buy it and they're going to be renovating it into a new hotel. And I think this shows the motivation of what abandoned buildings could be if they are repurposed. <laughs> 